We're just under uh, two hours away now from the five-year anniversary of a very different kind of deadly avalanche. One not triggered in the backcountry, but instead at the edge of a Missoula neighborhood. We sat down with a man who lost his wife in that event. He shared his story of loss and healing. February 28, 2014. Snow had been falling in Missoula for nearly 24 hours. A really strong wind, it was cold. An emergency order was in place for people to stay indoors. I know it was below 10 degrees, wind is blowing. Late that afternoon, something happened for the first time in Missoula's recorded history. 911, what are you reporting? Hi, we have an emergency. There's an avalanche that just crushed a What we now know is an urban avalanche had thundered down the slopes of Mount Jumbo directly into the home of Fred Allendorf and his wife, Michael. We were both working. I was in my office. She was upstairs in her studio. And we met to talk about well, what are we going to do for supper. While we were having that conversation, all of a sudden, I was, the avalanche happened and I just remember sitting like this one second and the next second being face down with a house on top of me. The story of what followed is well told. How two children in the area were also buried. How neighbors overcame the shock of what had happened and rushed to their aid. How friends and first responders braved sub-zero temperatures, the threat of a gas leak, and further avalanches, digging for hours until all four people had been unearthed. How three of those people survived and how Mr. Allendorf lost his wife, Michael, who could not overcome her injuries and the hours spent buried beneath the snow. I mean, my house was gone, my wife was gone, my wife was gone. What many people don't know is that while Allendorf was recovering from his own injuries with family in Wisconsin, he almost left Missoula for good. I remember taking a walk one day and all of a sudden it just came to me that Missoula was my home, that's where my friends are, I'm going back there. Or that the thought of what those friends experienced on that day in February still brings him to tears. I just imagine what it felt like to them to have Michael and I underneath the snow, not knowing if they ever find us, if we were already dead. So I just always imagine what it must have felt like to them. Or that in the months and years that followed his return to Missoula, he still hadn't quite accepted what had happened. Driving my car, I would just go up there for no reason. It was almost as if I was hoping that my house, my life would still be there. Yeah. And, but it wasn't. Five years have passed now. A new house has been rebuilt where Allendorf's once stood, and Fred has slowly rebuilt his life. He resumed his job at UM, He's remarried, and they've moved into a new home. It's hard to explain other than I felt then and I still feel now that this is sort of an addition to my life. It's like in, in some ways, my life ended five years ago, and this is just so completely different. It's sort of like an, a, an addendum or extension to my life. A life he's not taking for granted. Will Wadley, NBC Montana.